and they're being a nuisance to people, bottom line. They come, they destroy your property. When you approach him and you try to talk to him and get some measure of satisfaction, he either tells you that the, the animals ain't his, or he will stay in his house and he refuses to answer when you're calling. And um, he will tell you that you need to prove what it is on the, the animal to show that it is his. That is what he usually says. But yet, even though the animals aren't his, when, when anything happens, he out looking for them. Now, some time ago, about two years ago, people, for some reason, you saw a lot of the, he had sheep before. He now has goats. The two horses that are always up and down Wilcox Hill. Does he yeah, them two that there. And, and he has the, and pigs. Two years ago, they had about four carcasses of ho um, the sheep on, on the, 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 uh, run, the back of the airport here. And they stood there till they swell out. When he misses the sheep, however, then you're gonna see him on a horse come out riding like the Texas Ranger. He out and he's scouting about looking to see where his animals are. It's nonsense. This guy here he invested a lot of money in this last crop he had here. And this is what he ended up with, nothing. Every minute the, the animals in here are grazing on the my yams. And this is what happened here now that he's so frustrated. This, these things aren't right. Then I called the pump and I asked them to call the same owner, the, the guy that actually rents or leases this land. Up to now, he has not heard from the pound. Up to this day. Now, I don't know if COVID stopping them from being able to come and pick up animals. But for some reason, up to now, they all can't hear from them. Now you can imagine, you take him money, you got the boy got water bill to pay. And I mean he pays a lot of money in water when the month come. He got to pay workers because he had a guy in here cleaning the ground all the time constantly to make sure that his the, the produce would have been something that he would be able to make back his money on. And then this is the result. This is And the sheep. You would not you would not put them up. The horse will block the traffic in everybody every day. The pig wants no oil. The big boy pig here stop a man the road is cold on here and got his man block all for half hour. Go move. Had to come outside and when come out then he take it. The pig take off and gone up through there so. Yes, even the horse come across there. Block traffic, go halfway in the road there and turn around and come back here again. Every day the horse is young look. Every day, this way, this way, he, he can't get them feed. The goat has been there every day. The man has got yam plant in there. And the goat going to pull all the man yam and all kinds of things. And he ain't saying he ain't doing nothing about it. So I don't know where you, what, what can happen about it, I don't know. Are you hiding in the back of the yard? Yeah, in the back of my yard, he back with plant behind there. Okay. Stop me from planting, I can't plant by anymore. The pig, don't you there all 12 o'clock. Not last night, Monday night. All Trevor, like dog barking here, made dog barking. All the pigs, the pigs down there keeping a lot of everything down inside there. Come from all there and walk and come through there. She ran up there morning early and come through, but between there so I'm out there. We can't get peace for them kind of animals. And the man, nobody doing anything about it. I can't get understand. I don't know why. I don't know why nobody can't do anything about it.